Breaking news on this election day, or a technical problem, could keep polls open later than expected. Probably not here, but tonight in Hamilton County. There's a live look inside the courtroom where the chief group that wants to legalize marijuana, Responsible Ohio, is now trying to keep polls open an extra hour or two. That would let more people vote. As soon as the judge rules, we'll let you know. It is election day across the Miami Valley, of course, and if you have not voted yet, it's now less than 90 minutes before polls close at 7.30. Tonight, the issue bringing many to the voting booths today, whether or not to legalize both medicinal and recreational marijuana. We begin tonight live in Columbus with Kelly May, who's with the group that got marijuana on the ballot. Kelly. Well, Jack Dad, that's right. We're live here in the short north in downtown Columbus, where Responsible Ohio's watch party for this evening is about to get underway here. It's been a big campaign for them, and tonight they tell me they're confident everything will go according to plan, what they're banking on, that issue three, of course, will pass, legalizing medical and recreational marijuana, and issue two will not pass, allowing for monopolies. Now, again, if that's the case, there will be 10 regulated growth sites created, but it's not as if tomorrow you can go out and buy or sell marijuana legally, there would still be a lot of work to be done. For folks who want to start uh, their own retail establishments, they'll need to pass a local option election, special elections uh, similar to liquor elections, and ask the, the members of their community in a specific precinct if they'd like to see a marijuana retail location in their community. Back out here live, Jack, like you said, polls close at 7.30. Responsible Ohio reps tell me that's when they're expecting crowds to show up here and for the official results to start coming in around 7.45 is what they're expecting, what they tell me when they'll know a little bit more about the voter turnout and how this is looking for them this evening. Of course, we'll be here to cover the latest for you as it's happening for now. Live here in the short north, Kelly May, Fox 45 News on ABC. One guy hoping you say yes to issue three, former boy band and reality TV star Nick Lachey. Next part of an investment group that has an option to buy one of the 10 marijuana farms if the measure passes. The Washington Post reports within four years, those 10 farms in Ohio could be selling more than a billion dollars worth of pot each year.